Hello folks, this video is to show you how to solve the bait and switch optional puzzle in the new Thief game. Starting in Stone Market outside Ector's shop. Um, and here's where it is on the map. Ector's had this doodad in his shop the whole damn game. And it bothers you. You can't talk to him about it. You can't steal it. You want it because, hey, it's Thief. So that's what you're working on. Uh, let's, I'll show it to you. It's over here. And there it is. Using focus, it shows up. It's glue. We want it. We're thieves. What, what can I say? Uh, so it turns out it's this long optional sort of quest line called bait and switches. In these documents that you keep finding in the stone market area, there's eventually four of them, and they show pictures of four obelisks in different parts of the city. You discover that each one of them have little switches underneath them. This implies it's the order that you need to click them in, and hey, it seems to be directly related to that item sitting next to Hector. So, we are going to go find each of these ob obelisks. Actually, I know where they are. I've practiced this run, so I can do it nice and efficiently. Uh, we're going to hit them in order, and hopefully get our loots. Now I'm pretty late in the game. There are eight major missions, and I'm about to start seven. This is the first time in the game that this area of the city is as free to walk around as it is. Usually there's a ton of guards, but uh, law and order in the city is kind of breaking down, and at least in this little area, I can just run through. It's kind of, it feels kind of weird after all the skulking I've done through here the whole damn game. So the first obelisk is down this way. Let's go. I don't know if this is recording the audio from the game, too. Um, find out. It doesn't matter that much. Uh, so here's the first obelisk, and there is the switch, and we hit it. If you hit the switches in the wrong order, Garrett will say, oh, it doesn't seem to do anything. When he doesn't say anything is when you know you're doing it in the right order. All right, so I get a little turned around here when it's time to go backtrack to get to the second one, but I'll untangle myself in a minute. I got a little rattled because I, I heard a guard talking and I thought I'd cleared out all the guards. And one of the weakest parts of this game is the uh, directional sound. Uh, it, it, you'll hear people talking as if they're a foot away from you when they're not that close to you. The first two games on PC, you played as much with your ears as you did with your eyes. And it's a shame that that's not true of this multi shows. So I think I'm back on track now. I'm going to zoom forward and go through my little shortcut to get to the next obelisk. I'm going to here. I can't imagine living in the city and it being just such a maze, like a warrant for moles or rabbits or something. So here we are back in the main city. I'm going to climb up here to get a shortcut that I discovered to get to the part of town where the next obelisk is. So let's go. Climbing, climbing. <coughs> I'd known about this room for ages before I realized that there was a back window to it that led me to an entire other area. So it's really useful. There's two flavors of these windows in the game. The kind that you hit and then you have to bang on it to lift like this, which just kind of open a door. And then the one I'm about to do now, where you only have to hit the hold once, and it actually transitions you to another map. Because it just seemed to be more than they could do when they were building this game to load the entire city into one, uh, you know, in one load. So it's all divvied up. And you've got all these tedious loading screens. And the problem, if that's not bad enough, the problem with this game, at least the PS4 version, at least the copy I have, is it crashes all the time during those transitions. It also saves during those transitions, which you count on because you can't save it will in the game. But here's the second obelisk. Click, click. Compare with the picture, make sure we're in the right place. Number two. And here's where we are. There's a banner on the right. And there's the banner. So I click it. But yeah. The transitions are bad enough because they take so much time and there's so many of them. But to make it add insult to injury is that uh, 
I don't know, 15, 20% of the time, when you're on one of those transition screens, the game crashes. And it does not save your progress from what you've done since the last uh, whatever method you used to save. And there's a couple of weird ways to save in this game, but this is one of them. Uh, so it can be an anno annoying way that you can lose progress in the game. Luckily, as I was doing this video, it did not crash. So as soon as it finishes this endless load screen, we will be heading to the third and final obelisk. I bet the loading screens aren't this bad on the, on the, PS, on the PC. So I'd rather play it on the PS4. So again, here's a different kind of window I hold, and then I have to tap the square button again to uh, open it. You'd think as a thief that I would leave it so that it would be easy to open that shot. So here we're back in the main square, the clock tower, which is where I live. Zooming over to the third obelisk. Taste that little prize that trying to get for so long. Obelisk is behind this building. Coming over here, jumping down. Hit the third switch. Again, let's compare the picture just to confirm that we're in the right place. I can see the buildings in that drawing here. So we are indeed in the right place. Switch. Click. All right. Time to head back to Ector and Raven steal that loot from him. What could they want with that haunting place? What they have on their hands? Maybe they're asking the old gods for forgiveness. This game has a serious problem with its reward system. Granted, I do get like 800 gold. Gold is kind of stiff in this game, so that's not that significant. But some of the optional quest lines that you do, you finish them and you're like, really? That's all I got out of this? I'll have more to say later on the Mechanical Man quest. That would be crazy. For this guy, Hector. You're tracing around the city, finding all these different uh, pieces of a Mechanical Man that he's working on, an automaton. And that could have so many great potential rewards. And it's very disappointing. So anyway, this isn't disappointing though. We're able to get back to Ector's office. No crashes, it's awesome. And I'm gonna be able to grab that piece of loot that's been taunting me the whole game. Ector doesn't seem to care about it. Yay! I'll take this. The game also tells us when we open it up that there is a name engraved on it, but it's not Ector, so I don't feel quite so guilty because it's not his anyway. So at any rate, that's the way that you do that run to go uh, get this piece of loot if it's been bothering you the whole game. It won't work. My understanding is it will not work unless you until you found all four of those documents that I showed you, which means you've got to explore the city very thoroughly. But if you're playing a game like Thief, you know, that's kind of why you're playing. I'm amazed when I see people playing this game shooting. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll do another one soon.